A con artist appears to be taking advantage of TransLink's new fare collection system to rip off commuters. Our Scott Roberts is live at Commercial Broadway Station tonight. So, Scott, what's the problem? Well, Mike, the problem is not everybody understands exactly how these compass cards operate just yet. And tonight, at least one scammer is using that to cash in. For 21 years, this is how our Bob Mayrap has started his day, selling hot dogs to hungry commuters at Commercial Broadway Station. But it's what he bought here recently that's left him with a bitter taste. When I found out it was a, it was a scam, so I, I got sad a little bit. He purchased a compass card from a stranger who said he was leaving town and couldn't use his. In hindsight, not the best idea, but it's how the man sold it that's sparking a warning. We're incredibly upset to hear about what happened to this gentleman. The suspect walked Mayrab and even a security guard right over to the Compass machine to prove the card had money on it. $120 was in it and valid for whole month. So I asked the gentleman, it's okay? He said, yeah, it's okay. And I trust it. The problem is these Compass cards don't technically operate as cash cards. They're all tied to registered accounts. Let's check the balance of this one I'm holding right here. It's got $80 on it for now. But that can all change in seconds. That's because cardholders can transfer the cash from one card to another in an instant, meaning that $120 that was on Mayrab's card quickly vanished. Customers should buy their Compass cards through the available channels. We have Compass vending machines at every SkyTrain station. As for this vendor, he's chalking it up to a lesson learned the hard way. This is a good lesson, though I got it. So the people have to be very careful with all the scams going on. Now cautioning other commuters so they don't get burned. Okay, Scott, any word on catching this scammer? Well, not yet. Uh, Mayrab did call TransLink to report this, but their customer service department essentially said there was nothing they could do. That's when we stepped in and offered to help. We sent TransLink the number on the back of this card so they could take a look at that account and try to track exactly where that money ended up. But tonight they won't tell us if they've even done that, let alone if it worked. And TransLink is citing privacy issues. Mike. All right. Thanks, Scott.